What is up guys, this is John aka Pokemon and today I'm incredibly excited to be bringing you guys another episode of my Pokemon Ultra Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke with a bit of a twist. Now if you didn't see the first episode, you might be wondering, John, what is the twist? Well the twist is, go watch the first part, but if you are here for the second part, you know that whenever any of my Pokemon faint, not only are they considered, you know, dead and not usable for the rest of the playthrough, but their primary typing is gone as well. And I had a lot of people ask me, you know, John, if you have two water type Pokemon, one on your team, one in the box, and you lose water, what happens to the second one? Or the third one or the fourth one? Well, they're all gone. If I lose a typing, every single Pokemon I have with a primary typing is very much gone. And uh, for that reason, we got to be very careful. And when we do grab a new encounter, we got to make sure we get very lucky and get different types. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so that was the luck I was looking for, and yes, you guys all told me that this would be another encounter at the school. We're going to go by different encounter tables, and that's how we're going to determine, you know, encounters. It's going to be an entire thing to figure out exactly how this goes, but that is a ho -ho, let's go! A little bit of a delayed reaction, because I just wanted to say truly thank you guys so much for all of the support in the first episode. You guys were crazy. I did not expect... A fraction of the support that episode got so hopefully this one can be even better than the last one and if I can catch the ho -Ho, not only am I gonna have a hard time uh, losing fire Pokemon in general but you know what this might even be a little bit more exciting so you know what <laughs> we do have the quick claw I listen to you guys I need to not crit this guy with a tackle here you guys might be screaming at your computers because I went for it but it's fine because I have a great ball with its name on it. I thought I was going to get a cheeky encounter. Maybe I'd find, like, a pretty decent Pokemon. Maybe I'd find, like, a, uh, what's, like, a, a pretty okay-ish Mon to find there. A Graveler. Maybe I'd find a Graveler here. And then I could continue with my intro. But no, it's a Ho-Oh. And I got to try to catch this Ho-Oh with Pokeballs. I did not stock up on Great Balls. I don't even know if I can stock up on Great Balls. I have more than one. Okay, I have four great balls. And you know what? This one's got your name on it, ho o ho o yes not ho o no You know, as the kids say, I shouldn't have said ho o no That's completely on me. I've, I've messed this up. I've goofed it. The game's the game. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep uh, sitting here, nervously talking to myself. Thought that might be a crit capture for some stupid reason. Oh, come on, ho -Oh, come on. You, me, friendship, forever and ever. It'd be pretty good. I mean, it's what the people want. I'm telling you right now, there are multiple people who have clicked on this video very much wanting me to capture you. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it! I did it! I caught a ho-ho with a Pokeball! Oh my god! We actually got a ho-ho with a Pokeball! I don't remember the last time I had any luck catching a Legendary. It's been so many Let's Plays in a row on YouTube, on Twitch. You should check that out, of course. But oh my god, I don't care. Leer at whatever you want. You're actually probably off the squad, Frosted. I am. You are getting off the squad quicker than you could say. Super califragilistic expialidocious, okay? I don't need water sport. Keep old moves. It's not important. We have a ho o -oh now. Now. Not no. Ho o. -oh. I mean. I, I did say ho o -oh yes instead of ho o -oh no. Now, is it my best work? No, but eh, have I just accepted this is the nickname? Yes, no, I have. This is, this. I'm going all in. This is the name. This is what we do around here. And I mean, uh, I mean, what do you have for an item? A sugarberry. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, I mean, we could take that. And you are, of course, you are, of course, fire first. So this is what you guys were asking for. If I lose the ho -Oh, in battle then because i am putting the litten in the box i just need to be careful i mean do i i don't know i we'll see i think for now i don't know i'm actually this is really nerve-wracking of what to do here because i can't lose the ho-oh but the ho-oh is also our weakest member do i have the do i have the experience share because i i'm not going to use the experience share much 
because I don't want things to get over leveled. No, I'm going to turn that off because I don't want things to get over leveled. And I think we're actually getting close to a point where our Pokemon would be over leveled for the first trial. It's not going to be a thing where like, no matter what my Pokemon can't get over leveled. Cause like, I want to win this at the end of the day. It's already going to be difficult, but I don't want to go into the first trial with a, like, you know, two Pokemon at level 20 and like a level 18. Like that would be, that'd be a little reckless. That would be chaos. So I'll throw the ho -Oh in front and we'll just do a little, little switch training. And I think once ho -Oh is ready to, to carry the team on its back, then we'll swap the Litten. But yeah, no, that, uh, that answers a lot of questions people had. You know, I, I have decided what we're going to do with encounters, you know, in the beginning of this game, when it's weird, I'm going to make sure that, you know, if there's a completely new encounter table, I'm going to have that be, you know, a new encounter. So the trainer school was the legal encounter. Somehow last episode, I didn't run into the grass and find a Pokemon. I avoided that. So I didn't accidentally ruin that encounter. Secret genius. I, I'm saying so. And the other question, yes, if ho -Oh's down, if Litten goes down, both of them are done for the playthrough. So uh, I think that's everything you guys wanted me to answer. Flying types is an interesting question. Uh, that's something we might have to decide on together. I think this is a new encounter as well. We'll check. I did do all the annoying cutscene stuff. You're welcome. Yes, it's the, the shopping district. Let me grab my shopping friend. Um, yeah, let's grab the friend that allows us to shop. That would be pretty cool. We do have you there. Perfect, perfect. Um, but yes, flying types. There's not many Pokemon, especially in, like at this point. I think we got a few more. I hate you, Babarel. I mean, I don't hate you. I just wish you were better. I don't. I didn't mean that. No, we're gonna be friends. We're gonna be fast friends, Babarel. No, it's fine. I wish you were a Bidoof. If you had stayed a Bidoof, we'd be, you know, we'd be better friends. It'd be great. But uh, let's go into you and tackle. But yeah, no. In this generation, there's not many Pokemon with flying type as their primary typing. So I might count normal flying Pokemon as flying first. I mean, it. We'll have to see. If not, uh, flying, we just basically won't get any. And then, hey, that's another typing. Basically, we just lose a typing immediately. I don't know why Pokemon has made it for so many generations where almost none of their Pokemon are primary flying. It's like a weird thing that they've done. Very bizarre, especially when you do a run like this, you kind of notice it in a big way. But either way, we're going to grab a normal type, which is a very interesting typing to snag because there's so many different normal Pokemon you really want to be careful. Oh my God. Speaking of careful, I didn't buy more Pokeballs. Oh my God. Oh, jeez. Okay. No, don't eat a berry. Wait. Oh, that's fine. No, no, no. That's absolutely fine. Your defense can be sky high. Don't care. Really do not. I just need you to get into a Pokeball. And if I can catch a ho -Oh with a Pokeball, I can catch a Babarel with a Pokeball. What am I going to name you, Babarel? Oh, wait, no, I, I have a name for a Babarel. I, I mean, I did an entire series when I played as a Babarel. I think I know the name off the top of my head, but this is very important. I know it's a female Babarel, but I need to name this Babarel Steve. It's Steve the Babarel. I did an entire series playing as Steve the Babarel. I was Steve. I became Steve. And if I'm going to use a Babarel on my team... I, there's just one nickname choice. There's truly just one, one Babarel I could be, you know, Steve the Babarel. I, it just, it transcends many laws that us mortals have really, you know, put down. And I mean, Steve really was a special Babarel. He didn't do a lot of great stuff in his time, but if I can harness that power, the evil within Steve, maybe, just maybe I can win this game. Don't know if I need the stickers, uh, buddy. I would like to go against you at the trial. I think that would be pretty cool. I think we could have some fun there. Sticker collecting? I think that's a different playthrough. I feel like we could do that another time. Uh, this isn't like a, a sticker speed run. Honestly, no. I was about to say, that would be like a funny or fun, like, you know, speed run little category. It probably already is. But knowing these games, it would take an absurdly long time to speed run to get every single sticker. I don't know if it would be fun. I don't know if like it'd be, you know, like it's an absurd speed run category if it exists, but I don't know if it would be fun enough to, you know, give you a reason to spend that much time. Are you randomized? I think you might be. Ha ha, you are randomized, cool. All right, we can grab you for free. This is one of the things, uh, you know, the, Sam, the, the wonderful man who randomized this for me said that the, um, the people on the side will always have random items. So we could get really lucky. We could find nothing cool here. Might as well grab one of these. That's always going to be helpful. 
Uh, this, this actually could be pretty helpful, so I am gonna snag that. Uh, that is sneaky a good one. That, I mean, we could grab a few. I think a little five might be solid. But after that, we do need to grab some Pokeballs very badly. Because I would like to get a full team, and I would like to start putting the, you know, the clashing typings away in the box. I'm very worried. Very, very worried about the Lin. So let's grab a, a nice 30 of the Pokeballs. Thank you. Potions. Well, let's get, let's get up to 15. You never know when you need a potion, and... Uh, I think we're probably good to go. So we're all stocked up. I think we have some story shenanigans to do. And uh, let's uh, get to it. I don't think I want to talk about food, a little team skull, a team skull skirmish even. A skirmish of the skull boys, the skull lads, the skull grunts even. Okay, well, I think that's what we do. He's gonna check these fools. Okay, okay you. Uh, who do I have in front? I think I have the B barrel in front because ho -Oh got a decent amount of experience. Yeah, ho -Oh is looking pretty good. Steve, I think it's your time to shine. And I mean shine, baby. Shine, Steve. Okay. They're going to send out a executor. Call in my shot. Easy. Easy. That's not exactly... That is not exactly what I was hoping for. But I'm also looking at Galvantula and thinking about like worst case scenario and all of the moves it could have. I think if we just go into Land Shark here, it's probably just gonna have a grass move. Maybe it has a bug move. It's not gonna have like energy ball or bug buzz or anything. Shouldn't be able to do too much to it. Yes, and then we just drag and rage you into oblivion, spider. Let's uh let's say goodbye to the spoder sitting in front of me okay so goodbye not worried about that at all because again dra dragon rage <laughs> is it fair no but is life fair not really it just is what it is okay <laughs> steve's gonna get those levels no longer be useless to me and everything will be good if another one of you uh hooligans would like to battle that'd be pretty cool steve does need a little bit more experience nope just gonna keep doing whatever you're doing with your arms and scurry fine with it honestly i have things to do if that's what you got to do uh the game's the game i'm very fine with it i feel like to i know you're gonna be like oh hello you're gonna heal my team which is great but i feel like after this there's a lot of shenanigans in the town that i'm not excited about and i very much want to do the trial friend i'm i'm trialing today nice that's what i like to see Wait, no, we're battling? Why would we be battling you? This isn't the trial time. What? No, this is like the boss battle of you. What? What's going on? Okay. Greninja? No, dude. No, 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 no. Why are we battling you? I want to do your trial. You have a ninja frog. I love frogs. I don't love giant frogs that are ninjas that could kill me, but I love frogs. Why would they turn against me like this? I mean, I guess we go into Emperor. <laughs> we just... Wait, we can't psycho boost it because it's dark type. Damn it. <laughs> I do appreciate everyone who said I can keep psycho boost. You're incredible. You understand what fun is and you're wonderful. I, I was a little worried not everybody would understand the concept of fun, but uh, I'm glad there's a lot of fun havers in the chat. I'm very happy to have that. And speaking of fun, let's work up, tackle this thing to oblivion, and then just psycho boost the last mon. Let's get one more work up up. It's not gonna do that. It, it no, it did that. Okay, it it did the thing, which is a little frustrating. I don't love it because it's just gonna make this battle go unnecessarily long. But we're gonna we're gonna have to heal up because it is important. And I'm going to not heal the paralysis. We're just gonna try to kill the you know Greninja normally. Can't really do too much damage to me. So we're gonna try and tackle this thing until it dies. We're not gonna get paralyzed the first or the second time. We're just not. I mean, this lick would have paralyzed me easy, but first time, second time, no. Okay, that's... I hate that. I hate it. I just hate it. I don't know what else to say about it. I, I really do not like that. It's a little annoying. Quick Claw is actually very, very nice. Oh, you Quick Clawed and then you showed me that. That's so lame. Okay. We'll heal up again. Because I can. <laughs> let's just, let's speed this up just a, just a teensy bit. Maybe, just maybe we, we unparalyze as well. And then, 
Okay. This is absolutely going to be where we get the Quick Claw. No! Don't do that to me! I don't deserve things like that. That's so frustrating. I felt so good about myself. This has been an infuriating battle. Ah, don't lick me, dude. Not the time or the place. Oh, that's barely not gonna kill. That's so frustrating. Okay. Bubble- Oh, it's taunting me. Oh, I should have bubbled myself. If I was smart, I would have shaken my bubble butt. Did not need to shake any bubbles, nor butts. We're good. You're out of here. I'm getting experience or experience. Okay. Perfection. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Steve, you gain your levels, King. Rollout? Uh, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. And you never know. Maybe we face a ho -oh and we, we need to roll out. Y you just, you never know. When the Autobots need to get on the move. Belissi... I actually think we stay in because we do have tackle, like, strengthened up. Um, or we could just go into Gabite and then Dragon Rage. Why didn't I just use Gabite for the Greninja? It's not going to have ice. It wasn't going to have ice beam. What, am I stupid or am I an idiot? Oh, God, I might be stupid and an idiot. Oh, no. Oh, boy. And even if Dragon Rage wouldn't do too much, because I know this thing's HP is very high. I mean, we could just hit it with the two Dragon moves, but I, I'm sure, at the minimum, Dragon Rage is going to be a two-shot, right? Like, there's no way Blissey has, like, over 80 HP now. A little bit more, okay. But still, I mean, come on, what was I thinking? I am a fool. Alright, let's just... Let's just get this thing out of here. I, except that I'm very lucky that I have Dragon Rage and just... <laughs> Keep on keeping on, because you know what? I'm fine with it. We're going to take whatever little benefits we can get early into the game, because at some point I'm going to lose one of these really good typings, and things are going to slowly or maybe quickly fall apart. So while things are good, we're going to let them be good, and we're not going to complain or question. We're just going to accept it, be happy, and uh, be on our merry way. So land shark. No, you will not be learning Sandstorm, and uh, I think we're I, okay. I think we're ready to dominate a trial, Land Shark. Here for it, very here for it. My God, okay. Peck, we could use a little uh, ooh, little coverage. I don't know about Peck. We do have Hoel. No, we don't need Peck. Peck is a very bad move. Oh my God, like every level in the world, perfect. Well, I mean. We are victorious. Uh, I think that's really all there is to say. It does pop up. Okay, for sure this is Route 2, which is perfect. A guaranteed encounter that nobody will be upset about. It's a Hone Edge! It doesn't matter if I messed up my words and sounded stupid. It's Hone Edge! How is this happening? This is the greatest start I could have possibly had. I'm so happy. Okay, we're just gonna gust because it's not gonna be able to kill. Swords are not known for having rocks at their disposal, so we're gonna be fine. Just gonna tackle me. It's not like I have flame body or anything crazy. We're just gonna gust it. I'm going to catch the Hone Edge. One of the more reliable Pokemon we could possibly have. We will need to get a, I think, Dusk Stone to evolve it from a, a, a uh, I think it's Dublade, and people get really mad because they call it Dublade. I'm gonna call it Dublade. The game's the game. I mean, you're gonna have to accept that, but uh, it doesn't matter. Do not crit. That felt like a crit. I'm a little worried. I need this. I need this in my life. I would be so happy. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. It's one of the mascots of the channel and everything. Come on. He's my sword friend. Come on. If we have an Aegislash, I got this in the bag. Let's go! <laughs> yes! Oh my god. I, I just, I cannot believe. I cannot believe we have a Hone Edge. That's right, we're even going to be changing the nickname on this thing to make sure it's even luckier. Sting is going to be everything that I ever needed in this world, paired up with the Hoel. This is going to be incredible. No matter what, it's going to have a typing that is new that we absolutely love to see. Steel type, I would have loved Ghost, honestly, being first, as we're going to see less Ghosts. And this would be a more defensive Ghost with a plus defense, minus speed. That is incredible. I actually don't know what the ho -Oh is looking like. You got nothing, that's fine with me. You got nothing, I'm actually, I'm fine with that. Okay. 
that's pretty exciting. I mean, we'll get to a Pokemon Center soon and heal that guy up. But for now, we have a little bit of a battle here, and uh, I'm fine with that. Now, after the battle to the right is the, the graveyard site. I think we'll probably leave that encounter for the next, you know, episode. We've had enough Pokemon, you know, this time around. We've caught in a... Well, I say we've caught in a lot of Pokemon, but if we do go in there... We could get rid of the double fire types on this team, making it so that Ho-Oh is in a less scary position. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll have to make some uh, big boy decisions. I'll have to make some decisions on my own without you guys holding my hand and leading me where I need to be. So let me take you out real quick, Illumise. Eh? I think that's what you say. I think that's how you, that's how you refer to you, little bug guy, little bug friend. Everything's going to be very, very nice. You, out of here. Don't want to deal with you and your ugly mug no more. Ho, oh, yes. <laughs> I can't believe I named it that. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see, because it is Route 2 for a little bit. I mean, does it change the name when you go over here? That's my question. So if I go in here, does it change the name? Yes. Okay, so this is a cemetery, so it is completely different which is perfect, so I can go, I can grab you, a little uh, paralyze here. Let's snag one more Pokemon, why not? I'm feeling lucky, I'm feeling very lucky. First grass, first encounter. Trevenant's actually pretty interesting, okay. It really is gonna give us a fire, water, grass core immediately, which is very, very cool. Another ghost type, which I don't really know if I'm excited about or dislike. I. I think Trevenant could be really, really helpful for us. Because I think it's ghost first. If it's grass first, I'd be a little bit iffy. Grass is an important typing. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm also not entirely sure what to go into on this. Maybe we go into Frosted Flakes and we lick it. Because it won't kill the first one, but maybe it'll paralyze. Please don't have Curse. If this thing has Curse, I'm going to cry. We're going to have to be very careful here. This is actually a really precarious situation. Because we got the cat, it is a famous cat, but I mean, it's, you know, it, it, it's a famous cat with the spotlight off it. It's no longer the premier fire type on the team. Not exactly what its agent was hoping for, I do not like that. Okay, come on, we really need this Frosted Flakes. You just need to not hit yourself in confusion here. Okay, that's fine. We need the first turn, Para. Okay. I'm a little scared here. I think we're gonna potion up. I think we could be fine. I do still think this is our best chance of killing this thing. We don't really have a lot of moves we can hit this thing with and be fine. So I think tackle, how much does that do? That was a crit. I don't like that at all. That's very terrifying. Um, What do you have for moves? Sand attack, that's not really helpful. Dual chop would kill. I mean, if I want this thing, I just have to be really careful. So let's just... Use a few more potions. I mean, maybe it won't do the thing. Because if I get tackled and I hit myself in confusion... Astonish, that's fine. I don't think that'll do too much. That did even more than I thought it would. Okay. I need to be smart. I need to be smart. Can I be smart here? Maybe we just go into Emperor and we bubble it. I mean, I was a little worried to have the water type against the grass type. But the water type is much stronger. So actually, I might have been overthinking it. I think we can just go into this thing, click the old bubble move. Just a little bubble, let's see what it does. All right, this was definitely the move. Confuse Ray is very annoying, but it's fine. If I could snag this and put this on the team, I'd be feeling real good about myself. I'd be feeling very, very good about myself. Emperor, just don't do it. Emperor, just, just, just hit the thing with bubble, please. I can't catch like a full health Trevenant. That's just not how this goes. If you don't do this, I'm gonna psycho boost it and kill it in anger. Thank you, okay, perfect. Don't really want to angrily kill this thing. That'd be very stupid. Be no reasoning behind that. Just one more bubble, everything will be good. There we go, okay, snapped out, we're fine. Hit it, then we can start throwing some Pokeballs. Perfect, perfect! Exactly what we were hoping for. Okay. It's a little confused. A little confusion never hurt nobody. Uh, <laughs> especially in Pokemon. No, no, no. It's, ne it's never been an issue before. Nah, not once. So let's just catch you. 
Everything will be great. Everything will be grand, even. That's, that's fine. Oh, come on. Oh, thank you. I thought that was gonna, I thought it was gonna break out at the last second and try to ruin everything. Trevenant, uh, welcome on the team, pal. Welcome, welcome. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think this is gonna be, it was the missing link. It's what we needed on the team early on to guarantee a smooth first trial. I'll say it too, a, a smooth grand trial as well afterwards. So we'll get you on the team. It is ghost first, which I really, really like. There's, again, there's not a ton of ghosts. We are gonna name you Treebeard, of course. I mean, there's not, there's no other name. We can't name a sword sting and then get a, a tree next and, you know, not name it Treebeard, but. We are gonna be putting you over Frosted Flakes. This is not because I dislike Litten. I understand there's a lot of people that get really upset about their starters. I'm protecting Litten. I'm protecting ho -Oh. I just don't want them to hurt each other. It's very, very important. All right, uh, usually I wouldn't go against all of the trainers, but you know what? We definitely need some experience on the other Pokemon. Our team is really weirdly leveled right now. We've gotten so many new things. We gotta, we gotta test them out, give them a little bit of a test run. Why would I think we needed to test anything out? This is terrible. Sting? I mean, can you sting him, please? I uh, maybe. Mm, uh, I'm very scared. I'm very. No, wait, wait, that thing can't do anything. I'm calling my shot. I'm Babe Ruth. I'm pointing to my part of the stadium. It can't touch me. This thing can't do anything to me. It's a dumb alien bee looking thing. And it's not gonna sting me today because uh, my name is Sting. The stingliest sting of the stings. Uh, evil hornet, wasp, alien guy. And yeah, I know I called it a bee. People get really upset. I dislike hornets. I dislike wasps. They hurt me. They're not nice. Bees are fine. They're important. But a, a hornet? A, there's been like, what is it? The killer wasps or the killer hornets? I mean, well, what are those? Or like a tarantula hawk? You ever heard of a tarantula hawk? What a terrifying name for a, a little a stingy wasp or hornet. I don't really know the difference between the two. I'll be honest. But they are both, they, they're not nice. I don't like them. They're scary. They're not good like my sword here. Why have we gotten into a tangent about the fly around stingy guys? I don't know. Sometimes it happens. I don't know why I do all the things I do. I'll be honest. I, hand up. It's, uh, I don't know exactly what's going on. I do know that the crib brawler is stopping me from continuing on. It's as if they want me to go to this house to say hello. Do you want me to snag the sticker? Uh, I right, rich man with the golf clubs. You have a secret room? Okay. There's trophies. Is there anything? No, it's just you have trophies? I don't... Crabrawler, why did you want me in this house? I, this feels like a waste of time. I have people to entertain. Mouths to feed. Right, I'll take my totem stickers, but I don't... You want me to go to the beach? To frolic in the sands? Sure. That's... Fine. Okay. Am I gonna do anything important or am I just going to the beach? I don't understand. I just accidentally got an encounter that's a mega Altaria! I was... Game, you're gonna give me a heart attack. I, sometimes I would just like to come back and the encounter not be something incredible. I mean, this is very important now. I can't... I can't goof this one up. I was... I mean, I... I, I, I don't even know what to say. Okay, well, we have to figure this out. I can't be... Wait, could it have Dragon Rage? Oh, we could have Dragon Rage. I'm so scared. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to Emperor. We're going to Emperor. It's an Altaria. I'll explain where we are in a second if anyone's confused. I... The, the words are escaping my mouth. They are leaving my lips, and I do not know what to do. It's furiously attacking me. I actually really dislike that. That could get very frustrating. We'll see what Tackle does, though. Because I do want to work up, but I don't want to accidentally take it out. So actually, no, no, no. We're not going to do that. We're going to ignore the Fury Cutter. It is what it is. We might be able to go into Trevenant after this and just start hucking Pokeballs. I'm a little worried if it gets a five. Okay, no, that's fine. I think we can live one more, even if it, like, gets a crit. One more tackle, we'll put it into red. Barely into the red. And then we have to go into a ghost. I think. I don't like this. That was actually a little dicey. So now we go, let's go back into Sting. Sting has, has done us well, and then 
We throw every Pokeball we've ever had directly at this Altaria, and then everything will be good. Oh no, it's got Astonish! I knew it had Astonish! Why did I do this? It's fine. Didn't do too much damage. Uh, I would be astonished if it'd be able to take out a sword like Sting. <laughs> Guffawing at it, of course. Okay. If I can catch a Mega Altaria with a Pokeball after I caught a Ho-Oh in a Pokeball, I would be the greatest Pokemon trainer of all time. It's what we're working for. It's what we expect around here, if we're going to be honest. And uh, I guess we'll have to see. There it is. This is it. This is it! We did it! We caught a Mega Altaria with a Pokeball! Oh my god. I don't... I don't know if I remember a luckier episode with encounters in my life. I don't even know what to name you. Nimbus? I'm gonna name you Nimble Nimbus. Easy. Easiest nickname of my life. Wow. Nimble Nimbus. I really hope I spell this right. That seems correct. It feels right. I mean, of course I add it to my party. I mean, who do I take out of the party? We, I mean, Steve. I love Steve, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's a Mega Altaria. I don't, I don't know what else you want me to do. I mean, this was a new encounter, yes? I mean, am I crazy? I, I've been called crazy before. Big Wave Beach, and this is Sandy Cave. So, yeah, brand new encounter. I, I thought, honestly, that I was just going to be embroiled in a, you know, annoying dialogue, and none of that would matter, but no, I mean, brand new encounter... What item do you have? A focus? Oh my god, a focus band? Let me take that. Well, actually, I can just do the old this. Let me uh, yoink that and throw that on the land shark in case we get a, a sneaky ice move that tries to ruin its life. My god, this is this has really been crazy. I mean, I really thought today we'd be going against the first trial. It's very clear we're starting episode three with a nice little trial run. Grunts, what are you doing? Yeah, you harassing the, the beachgoers, huh? Yeah, you harassing? Huh? Is that what you do? You big, strong grunt guys? Alright. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to clear out. I'm gonna need you to scram. Skedaddle, even. I'm gonna also need this dialogue to, to go away. It's. It's very lame. Are you stealing the man time? No, don't harass the man. Stop making goofy moves near the man time. You know the man time gets scared easily when hooligans wave their arms around wildly. I've learned this the hard way. You can really hurt their feelings, and then, you know, the the mantines of the sky, Pelipper, of course, will come and uh, attack you. It's one and the same, mantines and Pelippers. Pretty much the same Pokemon. One flies in the sea and one flies in the sky. Treebeard? Uh, can you beat a Zubat? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what move Zubat has. I feel like it wouldn't have wing attack yet. So maybe a nice confuse ray into an astonish. Nice little one-two punch can take it out. Because I do need to start leveling up the other guys. Because it's one thing to get a really scary, intimidating team like we've, you know, uh, yeah, created. But it's another thing to make sure we keep them all alive and not lose our typings right away. So... I think a nice little Astonish, maybe a, a Flinch and Confuse would be great here. Ooh, that did some good damn. Are you kidding me? It broke out immediately and then super hit a Supersonic. That's beyond infuriating. No, game, I'm going to hit two Astonishes. I'm not going to get confused and it's going to die. Thank you. You're not going to pull this on me. That's outrageous. Stop it. <laughs> this animation is so annoying. <laughs> You're going to get out of here. And I'm not... Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah, you are out of here. You're not bothering Treebeard ever again, Bat. Uh, it's the end of you. Okay? Office worker grunts uh, out of here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. We got the uh, the numbskulls out of here, which is very, very great. I will take... Ooh, some fresh water. That is nice. Thank you. Yeah. No, absolutely. I can definitely do that. Thank you, nice lady. Uh, let me hustle and bustle my way there. I, we do need to get to the Pokemon Center. I am a little worried about that. So hopefully the crabs will stop bothering me. I think we have one more battle and then the Pokemon Center awaits. You, old man. How many times do I have to tell you, old man? Get out of my way. Well, actually, I am a little worried there's going to be more trainers in front of us. Wait, you're a trial leader. No, 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 no. No, I don't like that. You're the ghosty one. 
With a soul rock, I can beat up a rock. It's a floating rock, it's not the sun. Hey, if it was the sun, I'd be dead right now. I'd be too close, it would burn me alive, but you're just a floating rock. Yeah, nah, that's, wait, what item did it have? Didn't pay attention. That's uh, fine, we're trapped in with the fire spin. Okay, I made too many comments about the fact that it wasn't the sun, and now it's trapping me in with fire. It's a pretty sun move, honestly. That is, it's, I mean, my office is incredibly hot right now. It's very humid. The sun doing a number on me in the real world, fake sun doing a number on me in the, the Pokemon world. So, maybe I need to, may, oh, I was gonna say I could go into Ho-Oh and that's how I'd fight the sun off with my own fire god, but. Apparently that's not how that works. The sun is not okay with me, you know, worshiping a, a false sun deity with ho -Oh, Or ho -Oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, let's take this out. Confusion? Yeah, sure. Ah, uh, sure you will. Uh, boom. Bye. Big fan of the early trainers only have one Pokemon. Like, it's, you know, a nice little battle. Give me some experience, which is very important right now, but... You know, it's not gonna have these battles go on too long. They're just nice little tests before we get to the uh, the main meal, you know? So I do think we need to, to heal up the squad. Or I know we need to heal up the squad, but I think we need to change the squad up a bit. Squad looking a little dicey, but I don't wanna use all of my healing items yet. I just have to hope there's no battle. I think you guys are just goofy alien people, that's fine. Is it the guy with the fun mustache? Because the mustache is important. If you don't have a mustache, leave, thank you, okay. Yeah, if I'm not gonna be able to see your fun mustache, I want you gone. Um, I think that's grass from an encounter we've already gotten. I do not think this is new! Avoid, ah, boy. Well, I mean, I might have messed this one up because, I mean, I'm, oh God, no, 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 Rock monster, rock snake, rock, 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 I need you gone. I need you very gone. No, 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 no. I just want to go heal. I would like to heal. We're going to my shark that's land. We're going to dragon rage you to really show you the error of your ways, Onyx. Curse. Yeah, it was a curse that I found you in the grass. You know what, actually, you could have Sturdy. I feel like you have Sturdy as an ability. I'm not messing around with that, that seems very annoying. I'm just running away as fast as my dragon feet will allow me. I'm gonna grab this item, a nice little super potion. Feels pretty important, and that, my friends, that should be the end of this episode. This was a crazy one. I don't know what I expected going into this. I thought it would be like a really like, you know, low key app as we made our way to the, the trial with a very exciting explosion of an ending. But it seems like we got to end it here with our crazy mons. We'll do the trial next episode. I might do a little bit of grinding with all our Pokemon to get them all up to like level 10, maybe 11. We'll have to see. Either way, I hope you guys are excited for that episode. It's going to be a lot of fun. But that is absolutely going to be enough for me. I will see you guys in the next one. I can't wait. And until then, peace.